This case deals with a retirement of partner. Okay. Calculation of gaining ratio when new profit sharing ratio of partners is given. Now in this case what happens is okay let's say there are three partners Ram, Sham and Mohan. Ram, Sham and Mohan. I'm not getting into the question right now. Please try to understand the concept. Now you are told that originally okay or let me call this as existing ratio of the partners is let's say x y and z right and what happens is that one of them moves out let's say this guy moves out okay and you are told that the new ratio of the partners is a is to b right so this is something like you know you already had 50 rupees okay I told you that someone came and gave you some money okay and now you have 70 rupees so I ask you how much is it the money which you have received from someone else you'll obviously do what whatever is the total money you have afterwards from that you will reduce whatever you had earlier 70 minus 50 and that will give you what is it that you have received from someone else in the present context what this means is that this 70 is actually nothing but the new profit sharing ratio okay this 50 is what the old profit sharing ratio and this 20 or the difference what you received from someone else is nothing but the gain that you make right in this question what will happen is you will know how much is the profit that you currently get what is the profit that you will be receiving in future he's asking how much of the profit you have received from Mohan and between Ram and Sham what is the ratio of the benefit that they have received okay let's look at this question now let me just remove this piece from here Ram, Sham and Mohan who are partners in a firm share profits and losses in the ratio of three-fifth, one-fifth and one-fifth. So three upon five, one upon five and one upon five. The denominator is common in both all the cases. Three plus one plus one gives you five. So five upon five is equal to one. Please note that the sum of these three profits sharing ratios is always equal to one. Right? Mohan retires from this firm. Okay. He must have some better business to do. So he decided to move out. And Ram and Sham decide to share future profits and losses in the ratio of four is to three. So these two gentlemen said, okay, till now we were sharing profits in the ratio of three fifth, one fifth and one fifth. Now this guy has moved out. What we will do is we are going to share the profits in the ratio of four is to three. Okay, what's the sum of the numerators? 7. So I can also write this as 4 upon 7 and 3 upon 7. So I used to get this much profit. I am now getting this much profit. He is asking you to what? You are required to calculate the gaining ratio of the partners, if any. So how much is the gain which is made by Ram? Gain made by Ram is what? The new profits he is getting minus the old profit. Just like I told you. That if you have 70 rupees, you originally had 50, how much did you gain? 20. Right? 7, 5 gives you 35. Okay. 5 times 4, 20 minus 7 times 3, 21. Now this is interesting. So minus 1 by 35. Right? And what is the gain made by Sham? Sham makes a gain of... 3 by 7 minus 1 by 5. 35, 5 times 3 gives you 15 minus 7, 8 by 35. Right? So what this says is that actually Ram stands to lose. Why? Because he was getting 3 fifths earlier and now he's getting 4 by 7. If you see in terms of percentage, 3 by 5th is how much? 60%. 
And 4 by 7 is how much? It's roughly 13.14.3, uh, okay? 14.3 into 4 gives you 42, 43%. So he's actually lost some amount of profits, right? Not 43%, I'm sorry. Should we use the calculator to find out? This actually is around 57%. Right, so he's come down from 60 to 57, so he's actually standing to lose. So there is no gaining ratio. In, in fact, there's a loss to one of the parties and gain to the other. 